what's going on everybody this is another commentary but you got a part of me i'm actually doing this one in my car i'm on my way to work and um you know i do have a family to take care of a uh, single dad and all that but um you know i wanted to make a commentary about uh watchdogs you know if you saw the other commentaries then you know that there's like certain things i like to talk about with you guys uh this one's going to be about the pc issues and the uh you play issues Apparently yesterday people were going ham over the Uplay issue and um, people were saying things in my comment section about my review that I did and saying that I needed to upgrade my PC and it wasn't a big thing but it was just a couple of comments there, it was a couple comments on Twitter. Um, I'm actively on Twitter so if you want to follow me there you can but uh, apparently what you guys were noticing in my review was the uh, frame rate drops and what a lot of you guys don't understand is when I do my reviews, I try not to be IGN or GameSpot or one of these big major gaming companies because I'm not. I try to give you a quality review, however, but I try to give it to you from an honest working man's perspective. I try not to go and be dazzle you and get like the best triple A quality trailers and steel lows and do those things. I like to give it to you from a guy who went to work, who got a high end PC and he was told that this game is going to run at ultra settings. And if I put it on Ultra and it runs like shit, I'm going to show it to you that way. See, I'm honking at old people and everything. Um, yeah, I'm going to show it to you because if I don't show you the true definition of the game, then, you know, I'm lying to you. So you guys are sitting there thinking automatically because you saw the frame rate drops that I didn't have a high end PC. Then when you find out about the specs, you called me, you said I was showing off because I probably had a better PC than most of you guys. And I'm just being honest, you know, because I do know computers and I do know what's what. And the guy who I'm talking about in particular, he did come to me later and I commend him for that. And he apologized. He realized that he was wrong and that, you know, his PC was only half of mine. You know what I'm saying? I'm, like, nah, I'm just playing. I'm not going to show. Up. But he did realize that, yeah, the PC was able to run it. It had to be another issue. Come to find out later. What do we find out? It's a driver issue. So apparently AMD and Nvidia needed to release drivers to uh, fix this issue. And I apologize for the noise guys, because like I said, I'm in my car. And it's funny because I'm driving down the street right now and I have like this ice box truck behind me making like the most fucking noise I would ever expect to hear. Uh, you probably may not be able to hear it, but you probably will when it comes out. I'm gonna try to filter it out. But if you do, I apologize. Cause it's, for, it's just so noisy. I feel like telling the guy get the fuck away from me. You know, I feel like road raging. But anyway, <laughs> yeah. Um, like I was saying though, yeah, so that's what it was. It wasn't it was actually the um drivers because I want to report that I did update my drivers and the issue actually went away. It, it the drivers speculated that it would give a 25% performance boost, and it obviously did because when I updated my windows to from 8 to 8.1 and I put in the drivers because they do not support uh 8.0 windows, they don't support Windows 8. You need 8.1 for the drivers to work. And uh, apparently they did because once I put those drivers in, I didn't have any of those frame drops or any of that stuff. Everything was stable at uh, 59 frames to 60 frames. Um, actually, I'm lying. It stayed at 60 frames. It actually didn't even dip under that. And it, this was on ultra settings. The only thing I'm noticing though is as much as I play with the graphics and the filters, it looks the same to me. High end, ultra, it all looks the same to me. Maybe the textures need to be played with. I maxed everything out. The game looks the same to me. Uh, the game is graphically dope, but however, I think people are graphics horrid. It's not as big as people make it out to be. It's not as it's, it's huge graphically as people would make it out to be. I mean, that new Batman um, Arkham Knight trailer, those graphics. Well, then again, let me not even bring that up because that's the trailer. When the game comes out, it might not even look like that because Watch Dogs did that. But anyway, I just want to let you guys know that was the problem with the um, the performance you guys saw. And why I actually upload my videos like that because I want you guys to see what I'm seeing. I don't want you guys to. I want you guys to know if this game is worth sixty dollars. You know that's why I do my reviews, and I'm a, I'm gonna do a Q and A explaining all of this to you guys because a lot of people uh, ask me questions about stuff, and you know even though I answer them in the comments, a lot of times people don't see all the comments and stuff because I do answer you guys when you hit me up in the comment section. I do take my time to answer and reply. But I want to do a Q&A explaining some of the questions I get asked a lot so you guys will know what's going on.
but that is one of the questions I'm gonna answer in detail. I'm telling you now. I do my reviews for the guy who who if he gets 60 bucks, he don't want to waste it. Or he goes to work and he can't afford it and things like that. That's the reason that I do that because it's shitty to go out and take your seventy dollars, eighty dollars, and take sixty-five of it and spend it on the game just to find out that the game was hyped up and it's a piece of shit. So I pretty much like to debunk those rumors or let you know, yeah, this game is worth your sixty dollars, or should you rent this game, or should you borrow this game, and yada yada yada, things like that. So please understand that I'm not trying to be IGN, Game Informer, none of those big companies. I'm trying to be the guy from the block who went out and bust his ass and brought him a high-end PC and was told that it will fucking swallow Watch Dogs when in actuality Watch Dogs rapes the fuck out of my computer and then I come to find out it's because I needed a fucking driver. And yes, the driver made the difference. So this is Jimmy and I be gaming and I'm gonna leave it at that. You know, this is a quick commentary letting you guys know what's going on with Watch Dogs. And apparently, let me continue real quick. Apparently the Uplay service took a fucking butt fucking Rival in GTA's online buff fucking that they took. Apparently the service could not handle the load. And apparently, I don't like Uplay. I'm not gonna sit here and lie about it. They don't pay me no check. And I never did like Uplay and I avoided Uplay as much as I can. I have my Uplay account since like Assassin's Creed 3 and I only have like 30 points on that shit. So anyway, but um, I just wanna say that, yeah, apparently the Uplay service was down for a lot of people. Some people was even in my town. Um, but it worked for me. I want to let you guys know I didn't have any issues with this game other than the frame rate drops. And after I put in the um, drivers, that actually went away. And, you know, my PC specs, like I said, AMD 8 core 3.1 overclocked to 4.0. Um, 4 gigabyte graphics card and 16 gigs of RAM. This is what I went into Watch Dogs with. And I had no issues other than, like I said, the, the spike in uh, frame rates, which you guys noticed. And um, I'm going to do another commentary about this whole FPS resolution thing because there's like a lot of uh, nonsense behind that as well too going on. But anyway, I just want to let you guys know that everything did work. Everything's fine. Um, the drivers did fix any issues that I had. And uh, I might do a tutorial explaining some of the things you might want to change on the PC version to get a better performance because I was told to do some changes to my settings. And uh Everything worked perfectly for me. The game is running smoothly. I'm having a good time with it. I played it for like three hours last night. As you see from the footage, I got tons of footage. And uh, this is Jimmy and I be gaming. And uh, I'm gonna go to work now. You guys have a good day. Mic check, mic check. Hey, what's going on everybody? I won't keep you any longer than I already did. I just wanna let you know, it takes a lot of work to do these videos and reviews. So if you could to help me grow my channel, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe if you're new. And to anybody that wants to drain my network to the people that have, when you get accepted, just let me know, shout me out, send me a message, and I will shout you out or dedicate a video to you to help you grow your channel and we can network and collab. This is Jimmy and I'll be gaming, and thank you for your time.